Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create platformer movement. Um, this is not physics platformer movement. So far all I've done with tutorials is physics, so I figured I'd try something else. Okay, so, yeah, this is platformer movement. Now, in this way that I'm doing it, it allows you to move up, like, any any steepness of slope that you want, but, like, smoothly, so, say you had a slope but it was a really smooth curve. I'll just draw it out for you. Hang on a sec. So say you had something about five hundred one hundred will do. Let's say you had a curve something like this. Now in each one of those hills your object would move smoothly up it and down it because that's just gravity but we're pretty much just focusing on going up okay now I'm actually gonna use this as a sprite and draw a kind of ground thing on it so that there will do and if you want to go ahead and do that too okay and then I'm just gonna draw a circle for the player sprite like that. And I'll just give that a name. Okay. Now we need the objects. So I'm going to start off with the ground object. And make that solid and just give it the sprite. And then the player object. Bit of spot. Okay. Now start off we need two variables for this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the first one we need is SPD for speed, so I'm gonna set one to ten and max slope. So what this will do is stop it from going up vertical walls, so I'm gonna set mine to hmm, about ten. So that's the amount of that's the maximum amount of pixels that it can jump up. Okay, and I'll set another one for jump, so three variables. And that can be 10 as well. Okay, now in the step event, we're going to start writing our movement code. So we'll start off with gravity, so if place 3 x y plus 1 And gravity equal to 0 0.5. Otherwise, gravity equals 0. Okay, and now for movement going right. Right, uh, um, there, i equals 0. While i is lower than max slope. If place three x plus speed and y minus i, then x plus equals speed and y minus equals i, and then break the loop. Otherwise, i plus equals one. Okay, now I'll just take through this. So what this does, it sets variable i. Um, we set max slope before, I set that to 10. So while i is lower than 10, and we set it to 0, so it starts off being lower, obviously. So while that's happening, it's going to check if the place is free, so x plus speed. So yeah, if x plus speed and y minus i is free, then it'll jump to that spot, so x plus equals speed and y minus equals i. Now we set it to 0 and not 1 first because if we're not on a slope we don't want to be jumping up. So in this case while i is 0 and there's nothing in front of us so this place is free it'll do that and it won't move up. Okay, and then you can just copy and paste that 
for your left movement. So left, and then you can just edit the um, values. So you just put in minus in there instead. Okay, and that's for moving left and right. And then we'll just do jump. So if keyboard check, and I actually forgot to do the keyboard checks for that. I'll go off and do that in a sec. Okay, so VK space. And place eating X Y plus one object ground and V speed equals minus ten. Okay. And then I just do the keyboard check, so if Keyboard check. Uh, VK left. And do that. And if keyboard check. VK right. Then do that. Okay. And that should do for that. And now for the collision event with object ground. So that's the wrong one. Um, change event. Collision with object ground. We just want to write move contact solid uh, direction is Direction and max distance is two and V speed equals zero. Okay, that should do it. So now all you've got to do is make a room just like that and add in your object. So we'll get the ground, put that in there, and the player, and put that about there. And now if we run this, everything should work fine. And it did not. For some reason. Okay, I'm just gonna work this out for now. I'll just pause the video though, and then I'll get back to you when I work. Okay, I've worked out the problem. I forgot to set the collisions to precise. So when you're doing it, make sure that it's set to precise for both of them. And now, when you run it, then it's all good. See moves smoothly. Alright, now I've said this in a few of my videos now, but no one really seems to be listening. If you need any help, send me a message and I'll make a tutorial on it, because I really don't have much to make tutorials on, so just request them, send me an inbox on YouTube or comment on a video or something like that. and. I'll see what I can do. Like, if I know how to do it, I'll make a tutorial on it. If I don't, then so. Anyway, um, that's how you make platformer movement. Hope you liked it. Like, subscribe. Yada yada yada. And yeah, thanks for watching.